All right. We are, we are, we're, I'm not going to be defeated by YouTube. YouTube's going away. It's amazing. The world kind of freaked out because YouTube stopped about an hour ago. For about 25 minutes, the whole world went, wait, what? If, how am I going to waste my time? My, there is no YouTube. There was a, my there was my son was one of them. He, he was about ready to throw his phone through the window trying to figure out why his YouTube wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so Velker, did you make it? Did you survive the uh, the YouTube outage of 2020? Me? Yes, yeah, you. Oh yeah. You good? I was fine. All right, he's good over there. But uh, tonight, the uh, there oh there no Ron, you can't do that. That that you, you can <laughs> you just can't. Good evening, everyone. It is Armchair Dragoons Wednesday Night Warfare. One hour late because YouTube had an outage, but we are not dissuaded. We are not stopping because I've got actually a project I'm going on, and this is John Stanley's fault. John Stanley, one of our regular viewers and, and friend of show, he, uh, if show it be, he, uh, he asked, he said, can we please do something for the Battle of Cowpens? Um, because, well, that's coming up. And I said, sure, why not? And we talked about different ways we could do the Battle of Cowpens. And eventually I decided, uh, because there have been some folks around here that aren't the biggest fans of Black Powder. The um, Hey, Jeff. Uh, they're the biggest fans of Black Powder. We said, let's do it using sharp practice. And so folks decided we were going to give it a shot with sharp practice. But to do that, I have to teach sharp practice. There's just no way around it. Uh, oh, and tweet is out to tell everybody we're rolling. Uh, but anyway. Hey, Jim, do you want these sheep locked in place? I don't. They have to be. Okay. They, they really do need to be. Nope. That's. I, I'm good with that. I just wanted to ask. Is that, while you were are, explaining? Are you, are I was going to lock fiddle, them for you're you. Fiddling, you're fiddling. Yeah, they're the only things that aren't permeable I, here in the sheep pen. But I wanted to be able to. I figured I needed to be able to teach sharp practice. And I've been watching so many. If Richard Clark should ever watch this, whom I love, if Richard should ever, I want you to know that you've been my host for many, many hours in my gym, home gym, as I've been listening to learn sharp practice. Uh, as it's played so i think i've got this knocked i think i've got this nailed the thing about doing sharp practice probably more than anything else it is a wildly popular rule set and um jeff jeff i'll tell you a secret yes all those badges are taken you're talking about the san diego convention i'll let you know because right now that game isn't full and i'll take anybody who wants to come in and play Shh, i'll find you um, hey, Red. So, any event. the uh, So, I want to be able to teach it. And so, I got... We have Ron Dalinor. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good to see you. I just like to say one thing to everybody, though, too. What's All that? my fellow uh, service members, past and present, happy uh, Veterans Day. Oh, hey, heck yes. I think uh, both you gentlemen served, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, correct? Mike? You're both Navy. Yes. That's right. Yes. No, no. Both I, Navy. I, as someone who never did serve. Uh, and thank Army. You. Thank you. Uh, thank you both very much. And to all the service folks, past, present, future. Um, you know, I realize it's Memorial Day and Veterans Day are different. I get it. You know, Veterans Day is for the living, but I it's also Remembrance Day over in England. So it's a very, very fine thing that uh, we all very much appreciate. Heaven knows I do and this family does that I have. Um, absolutely. And Mike, OJ's dad is here to join us as well. How you doing? I'm good. Awesome. Hey, hey, yeah, no kidding has. It's like the, uh, we're, we are, we are all set to go. So, uh, sharp practice. Who would like, to, so I decided to build a very simple scenario. It's based on the, the, the introductory scenario to sharp practice, known as the encounter battle. I call it Beekman's Hollow. Why? Because I wanted to. And uh, we have two forces. This is the American Revolutionary War, the American War of Independence. We have the British over here. Who are the British? They are commanded by Captain Arthur Fun, who, if you've been following along for the longest time with us at uh, here at Saturday Night Fights, is a recurring character, Captain Fun. Uh, he is commanding directly the Seventh Regiment of Foot, which is which consists of these two units, eight men each. Those are good line troops. Over here we have Lieutenant Jacob Winchester. He commands the light comp this portion of the light company of the 16th Regiment of Foot. Two groups right there. And finally in the back, Sergeant Patrick O'Meara commanding six men. They are skirmishers from the 16th Regiment of Foot. So these fellas are, uh, now obviously they're the smaller group. They're the ones that don't go into formation. They're the ones that go out and do a whole lot of shooting and pew-pewing and sneaking. But over here, 
Because we're Americans. We have the good guys. <clears throat> we have Captain Taylor Chance. He has brought with him not one, not two, but three units of Virginia Continental Line. One, two, three, eight. Uh, eight in each. We also have Lieutenant Philippe Charbonneau. One dollar for anyone who can figure out that reference. But it's a very specific American Revolutionary War, by the way, a fiction reference. He's a status two leader commanding the Del these two units of Delaware state line troops. And over here we have Lieutenant Nath N Nathaniel Pure. He commands these this unit of Continental Light Infantry, also skirmishers. But he's also brought somebody special along. Because the point system in sharp practice works the way it does, the British actually had five more points than the Americans. And so I filled it in by giving them a movable deployment point. We'll talk about that in a second because they have scouts. But they also get this guy, William Wee Willie Pym. He is a marksman and a specialist. He actually replaces one of these guys. We'll talk about him in a second. But yeah, Wee Willie is nothing but trouble in what he does. So, um, first question, which one of you gentlemen wants to be British and which one wants to be American? You know what, since I play, always play the good guy French, I'll be the bad guy British. All right, you're going to be the bad guy British. Are you on the right side? You are on the right side. Mike, you want to go jump over to the British side? I'm going to tell you guys no. that... I thought you needs to be American side. Yep. Um, I, yeah, I thought there. The, there we go. Uh, so, by way of introduction for those who don't know to Sharp Practice, Sharp Practice, like a lot of the Lardy games, is about command. It's about the ability of men to command their troops. And so most of the things we're going to do are going to be focused on these leaders. Now, yes, these units can act independently under certain circumstances, but they're always going to be a little bit better. They're going to be held back. They're going to be held together a little bit better if they have their leaders with them. These leaders are also the keys to their activations. You'll notice that each of them has a number in parentheses after their status. Lieutenant Taylor Chance is one. And then we have Lieutenant Philippe Charbonneau. He is two. And Lieutenant Nathaniel Pure is three. We'll talk about what that means as we start drawing the chips from this bag, which determines who activates when. But even that is getting ahead of ourselves. The first thing we have to do is roll for your force morale, which is how we determine victory in this simple scenario. We go to the force morale table and we determine that you are more than half regulars. So you get a plus one. I need both of you to please roll a 1d6. Oh, that would be pretty good. Oh, dear. Oh, a two really? versus Both a, ends of the spectrum. a two versus a seven. So that's a nine versus an eleven. Ron, you start out with a force morale of nine. Mike, you start out with a force morale of eleven. So congratulations on that. The second thing we have to do is to determine where your basic deployment point is. Your mission is just to go onto this map, which we're calling, which we're calling that, which we're calling the Hollow. Beekman's Hollow, and you're going to go on there, and you're just going to try to find each other, fix each other, and kill each other. Nothing more simple. Trying to drive each other off the map. Um, we have rough terrain here in this crop field. We have some light obstacles here in all these fences. We have some buildings we can certainly talk about, and we have some forests. Again, nothing overly complicated, but the first thing we need to do, you're going to be starting the game. You're going to be positioning your troops based on these deployment points, Okay. And both of you have one. Now we're going to talk about the extra movable deployment point that the Americans get as one of their support options. But before we do that, we need to determine out where your pr preliminary primary one is. Ron, why don't you start? If it's a 1-2, it's over here. If it's a 3-4, it's here. If it's a 5-6, it's here. One, two, three, four. It is. It can be anywhere... In this area, it's off of this point. It should be really kind of dead center. Six inches in. You can put it anywhere you like. But that's where your troops are going to be coming from. And if I didn't say so, hi, Ian.
So that work for you right about there? Yeah, it works. All right, so you're going to be coming from this spot, and your fellows are going to be creeping around and creeping out. Mike, why don't you show me where your guys are coming from? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. They're, com they're coming out from here. So, again, center point. Be right about there. Kind of the middle of that area. I'm going to figure the first, the first two feet. We'd say 12 inches. Say right about there. Six inches in from there, you can set up that marker. All right. I'm just dropping it for a moment. I'm not necessarily setting it there. Oh, let's just make it right here on this building. Cool. All right, so you got, you got, uh, is that, I don't know if that's going to be six inches. Yeah, Oop. it's got to be back here, so. Yeah, we can do it back that's here. Fine. That's, that's fine. fine. But putting it behind that building, that's not, that's not crazy talk. That's not bad at all. So, um. Just let, center it up. Sure, there we go. Whatever, whatever works for you, I'm more than happy with. Uh, one other thing I got. Up. So, you've got your deployment point set up. Why can't I type all of a sudden? Mike, you get a movable deployment point, okay? And and you've got this as a support option. You're going to be able to create a second deployment point when your commander, your number one, activates. It goes to within 24 points of the primary point, and it must stay at least 30 inches away from any of Ron's prime, any of Ron's points. Okay. All right. Anytime that his card comes up, here's the best part. Anytime his card comes up, you get to move it up to 12 points for free, provided you begin and end out of line of sight of him or his deployment points. All right. All right. So you can go creeping around the battlefield any way you like. You also have that sharpshooter guy, and we'll talk about him, but obviously you're going to want to give him a special couple of crack shots. So let's take a very quick look at the units because I think it's better to explain them in the context of using them than it is to do anything else. Leaders have, to, have a function known as their status. Status is very simple. It's listed right here on the status chart. A leader of status three gets to do three leader things. And he has a shouting range of nine inches. That, uh, that is how far they can activate. The and there is a strict chain of command in that only the big guy, only the three, can order the inferiors. The, others got, the other guys kind of got to stay with the units that they command. But the big guy, he can do things to motivate the guys below him. And that's why having those three action, those three leader things is such a big deal. But what about the units? The units, we see, have several narrated statistics. Formation. Can they make a formation? We'll talk about what that is. Do they get first fire? I.e., do they get a bonus the first time they shoot? One of the biggest things in sharp practice is controlled volleying. The ability to make a much more disciplined shot. Not everybody can do it, but the line troops can. And then you've got these last three. Crashing volley, step out, and drill. These things use command cards, which we'll talk about in just a second. They are things that this crashing volley, step out, and drill are little extra bonuses that you can take advantage of if you have command chips to play. All right. The one other thing I want to point out is that Ron's Delaware State Line Troops, they have the, they have the characteristic hearth and home. They like fighting for their home territory. This is not their home territory. This is a disadvantage to them in melee combat. 
So we're gonna just start drawing some chips and we'll talk about what happens as it goes. I've drawn a blue flag. See that right there? Blue is the color of the Americans. Red is the color of our friends, the British. If you look at this chart, there is a long list of things you can do with these flags. And I will talk about some of the advantages and that you can pull off using them as the game goes on. There isn't much use for one flag, except that in that bag, there's a chip that's labeled Tiffin. And if that Tiffin card comes out, which is sort of, which is a British euphemism, or not a euphemism, a slang term for a snack, if that Tiffin card comes out, the turn ends. But any unit that hasn't had a chance to activate can use one of those flags you might have kept to activate in this end phase. So we got a blue flag. Ooh, we have a red one. Red one is your biggest dog right there. Captain Arthur Fun is now eligible to come onto the table right here, Ron. Now, he comes on and he brings with him the 7th Regiment of Foot. The 7th Regiment of Foot, because it's regular troops, they have a variety of ways they can come on. A unit like this, well, that's just a group. It can shoot 180 degrees to its front. It can move pretty regularly, etc. But it is not as efficient in firing, because this is the 19th century. Actually, this is the 18th century. This is the 18th century, and there's something to be said for disciplined fire. If these guys come in in a formation, they can take great advantage of that. What kind of formations can they have? They can be in a line. Even in a line, you should keep a little space between them so we know the difference. And we would always put Arthur to the right. They can be in a column, which permits them to attack a little better and get a little support behind them. But you don't want to be shot at when you're in a column. And of course, they can be independent if you want them to be, but that's much less efficient. Now, our friend Arthur, he's at level three, so we know he's got three actions. But the problem is, he's just coming on the board. So the one thing you can always do when you first come on the board is shoot. But as you know, nobody of Mike's has deployed on the board, so there's nobody to shoot. You may deploy these men no more than six inches away from that deployment point, except... Except that there's nobody else on the board, and therefore, since you have a little, since there's nobody looking at you, you can get an extra six inches. So you may deploy them up to 12 inches from this spot. And facing matters. Somehow I turned all my little guys around. <laughs> I know why'd you why'd you turn your dudes? Now see now they're really in column hoist. Run away, run away. I know that's what I was saying. That's so crazy. I don't know how I did that. Like were they all just individually just That is weird. I don't wow. I, that you, you that, that took skill, man. That's where you want to deploy. You got up to twelve inches, which is pretty solid. Remember your goal yeah, here is it's to that shoot, where I want to deploy them. Is to shoot. Gonna... And by the way, let's not keep it a secret. You guys are good at, you know, just like the British the British line infantry were at shooting the pants off people at range. Is it 12 inches, right? 12 inches. Nobody can be any farther than that. I'll give you a marker. One thing you might want to think of, unless you want to advance forward, because you know you can oblique 45 degrees when in formation. But um, if you want to be facing, you know, but facing matters, you might want to face that way if that's the way you want to go. If you want to go straight ahead, that's cool too. You can deploy them facing any way you want as long as nobody is further than 12 inches away. The other question I put to you is group, we receive fire by groups. So he is probably going to be attached to one of the two groups, even though this is a whole formation. You should decide which okay. group he's attached to. All right, so we'll swing him over there. There's Arthur. Yeah, but he's supposed to be on the right. 
He should be, but he's attaching himself to these guys. Or if you okay, want to do that's it, good. How's that? You can do that. That's attached. All right, that's what you're doing? All right. Yep, okay. Let's, let's go get another chip. A red flag. That's one for you. A blue two. Hmm. Hmm. Who's that? Well, that's Lieutenant Philippe Charbonneau. You've got an option here, Mike. You can deploy him from here, or you can wait until you can start deploying that super secret sneaky second deployment point. Oh. Sneaky Americans. That's who they were. I think we'll hold. You're going to wait a little bit? All right. We'll wait a little bit. All right. Oh, and I should say, Mike, you should deploy that first one down. Remember, it's got... To, you, there's your... There's your uh, move, let me mark this as movable. It's got to be 24 inches away from this one, and it must be 30 inches away from any of his guys. That'll obviously be no problem if you keep it. But you can put this wherever you like. For start, that's for starters. And and how far did you say it had to be from here? Twenty four. It can be up to twenty four. At least twenty. No, it can up be to up 24. to twenty four. Yeah. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but it must be thirty away from him. Well, he wouldn't have been on. He wouldn't have been on the board. Yep. As. It can be, actually, it can go anywhere over here, oh, too, absolutely. right? Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we got a whole lot of board over here. Mm -hmm. and it looks like the sheep are having a little council meeting in the pen. Well, they're, they're, they're suddenly incredibly impressed by the, by the British and Americans crawling all over their terrain. deploying onto a road. Here we go. All right. So you're not going to deploy anybody on that two. So we're going to keep going. Uh, now we have two flags. One of the things you can do with two flags, and you can even interrupt the other opponent's turn, is activate somebody that is on the board that hasn't been activated yet. Is that on three? I think that is actually on three. Oh, yep, there it is. Yay me. I did it right. So that's two flags, not three? Two flags, yep. Ooh, two red flags. Look at that. Three red flags. <laughs> three red flags. Yeah, three red flags starts to get interesting. And this is where you start looking at things. For example, three, any leader not yet any leader not yet activated can activate. So now you can get the leaders mixed into it. Okay. So now if they, you have a leader, because remember, groups are less effective than they are with their leaders. So that could get a leader into the blend. The other things you can do, remember, you look at your leader for, or at your units, for example. You notice it says they might want to fire a crashing volley. Well, they get to do that with two flags, and that doubles shock damage to people. Stepping out, that's two flags if they want to add a die of movement. And drill is two if they're adding it as part of changing a formation. So there's there's a lot of power to these flags. We're going to keep going. Ooh. Ooh, a blue three. That is this sneaky group of gets under Lieutenant Nathaniel Pure and William Wee Willie Pym. You want to bring them on, Mike? Yeah, I can bring them on to either marker, correct? Correct. Yep, I'll bring them on. Now, Wee Willie Pym, he's a skirmisher, okay? He's a super sneaky skirmishing fella, and therefore he gets to deploy a little bit further away. 
Uh, we see here we have skirmish troops. They can deploy up to 12 inches. So they can go, tw they can go a full 18 inches away from, or sorry, up to 12 inches, I'm sorry, up to 12 inches away from that point. If they stay out of LOS, they can go 18 inches. So he can be 12 inches away from a deployment point, 18 if he stays out of line of sight. Okay, so he would start. Where did he go? Oh, right there. there's your hand. <laughs> yep. So he can go up to 18 inches as long as he's out of line of sight. Uh -huh. Wee Willie brings all those other guys with him. You know, the... American, oh, he... American dudes, they want the sheep. <laughs> all these guys come on in a group. Mutton. <laughs> really? That's quite bold. I think we would call that an old-fashioned American welcoming committee. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Facing the right way. Yep. Okay. I was about to flip them around. Let's, let's pull them back just a little bit. It's about eighteen point four okay. over there with uh, with Wee Willie. All right. All right. Go we'll check are, that right? again, or you think that's good? I'm good. I'm good. So you can't see anybody. That's okay. why you can go out that far. So that's a that's a pretty dramatic spot you've chosen for yourself. Boldly done. Let's see what we get next in the bag. A red two. Has is asking if you had three flags drawn in a row. Isn't that a random event? Oh, where are we? Oh, it sure was. Thank you, Has. So two, but the thing was the last thing to do anything was this red one, which neither moved nor fired. Which neither moved nor fired, so it does not count. I add, that's actually in the book. But yes, it is a random event with three flags. Unless, assuming somebody has moved or fired. On comes Lieutenant Jacob Winchester. Uh-oh. He can see those guys. Yep. At least most of them can. Say. Remember, though, it's six inches. It's six inches if they can see you. Oh, that's light troops. Forgive me. Ain't. Them's is light troops. So what do you got? Light troops. Nine inches. Tomahawks. That's what I got. Oh, yeah. Tomahawks, that's for melee fun. You can go up to nine inches away. So you could, you know, if you wanted to, you could come right to the end of this forest. Get yourself a little bit of cover. I want you to pull yourself a little bit back there. That's good. And you could shoot at them. Plow, plow. Yeah, it feels like that might be... So, so how do we do this? Well, we can see that's a little bit of cover, right? Because they're shooting through a fence, so it's a little bit tricky to see them. But these fellas now... Now you have a choice. These fellas, you will notice, they can controlled volley. Okay? They have appeared. Mm -hmm. Their uh, commander has deployed them. He is a status two leader, which means he can do two leader things, and he can tell them to shoot. They can do one of two things. They can just shoot... Or they can do what's called a controlled volley, which requires them to present and fire. The consequence of that is that they will start off their next activation unloaded. But it does make their fire much more effective. And this stands the chance of being a pretty nasty shot on those boys. Yeah, I'm going to do the uh, controlled. I would have thought so. So what you're doing is you're doing a controlled volley. So that means we have to mark you as unloaded and we do that with this uh doug would be so proud he got smoke 
There's smoke. Yeah, but he still wants the digital smoke. You know, which we yeah. still, which we were told we would get. I hope we do. So these two groups are partially loaded. But how do we do firing? Well, it's actually very simple. You've got eight guys. There's eight guys. That's a total of 16. You're also being controlled by Lieutenant Jacob Winchester, which means you get to add to that his status of two. So that's a total of 18. Close range, you, we check the range to these guys. And we discovered that's inside short range. Okay. So we've got 18 guys, guys firing, and we take a look at our modifier charts. They're not good shots. They're not poor shots. But we do have that leader adding his bonus, so that takes us to 18. You could take these command cards, your uh, red markers, and add as many of them as you want to your firing, each one giving you an additional die. So he's saying 20. It's pretty dramatic. This could really sting. An additional die. Control. Uh, so what we're going to say is it's 20. There those are. No shock. So it's a total of 20 dice. The base at close, and again, we're going to take a look at our master arsenal table right here. Muskets have close range to 12 inches. That is inside 12 inches. 20 dice meaning hits on a 4, 5, or 6. But... This is a first fire, and they get that. So that takes it to three. It's a controlled volley, so it takes it to two. Ones always miss. 20 dice, only ones miss. This is going to oh. hurt. Five. 15 hits. Now, a couple of things. If there were more than one guy in here, we'd have to allocate that among these fellows, but we don't have to. Mike, you're going to have to roll 15 dice. We have said that you are the one thing you've really got going for you is those are light troops, and so they are particularly good at dodging and ducking and hiding and trying not to get hit. So they're not in the open. In fact, they are going to count as in hard cover. So you're going to roll those 15 dice, a five causes a shock, and a six causes a kill. So I want to roll lower than fives. Yes. That's what you just said, exactly. correct? Exactly. Uh, one shock, one kill. One five, one six. Okay. Yep. We know it is not the leader, Nathaniel Pure, because... When regular troops fire, when regular troops fire, there is, and you do us, and you do only, you must roll lower than the number of kills. Okay, when regular troops fire, you must roll lower than the number of kills. When skirmish troops fire, oh, I take that back. This is the light company again. Why do I keep forgetting that? Um, therefore, you have to roll a 1d6. If you roll a 1, it is Nathaniel Pure that is hit. It hit. is not. So, it's one of these fellas. Oh, but... oh I thought oh. you said a 6. A 1, sorry, no. So, uh, oh, okay. so, Nathaniel Pure, there's a shock caused, there is a hit caused, and that is what has happened. That's how we do firing. Okay. Rail fence, rail fence saved a lot of trouble. Tiffin, that's the end of the turn. Now, Mike, you have two flags to activate anybody you've already got on the board that hasn't activated. You don't have anybody that matches that description because those guys were activated. And neither do you, Ron, because this was our first turn. So we sweep up the chips. There we go again. A red flag. A red flag. Ooh. Now we do have a random event. Ron, you fired. Roll 2d6. Something has happened to those guys that fired. A 
It can be good sometimes. A 10? Yep. Low on ammunition. The firing unit may only fire at close range and then they can resupply. Un ignore this if it is the unit's first round of fire in the game, which it was. So you dodge that there, proverbial bullet. Whew. Notice you got flags. Yes. Now there are foo to each way. We have the red three. Why, wow, that's these fellows. That's Sergeant Patrick O'Meara and your skirmishers. They can go 12 inches away because they're skirmishy fellows. Didn't quite get them up to the rail. But that is fine. You're going to have them shoot? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Now, again, we're going to have that whole deal there. But now, these fellas, they don't present and fire. They don't get into formations. They just kind of blaze away. And they also don't get into all this control business. They're just shooters. Um, so what we're going to say is we got six fellas. Plus, we have Omira, who's a one. So that's seven. Do they get a first fire bonus? We look at that and we say, yes, they do. So... We again come to our chart, and we say seven fellas. You can, if you wish, add one of those cards to add extra dice. You got cards there already. No, nah, I'm going to wait. All right, that's seven. <coughs> to use those cards. All right. What's the range? That's going to be long range. That's not quite as good. Usually you would need sixes. To hit at long range but in this instance first fire drops it to five this is light in these are skirmishers at effective or long range dropping it to four seven dice for fours two hits Mike, again, uh, a five shocks, a six kills. Two. Two dice, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Nothing. Pew, pew. Now, these guys <laughs> fired, but they also can take their second action to reload. One other thing that I will say about these guys, Mike, I should mention, is that all light troops, these guys included always have a bonus one die of movement no matter what else they do they can roll 1d6 for extra movement and it doesn't cost them nothing it's a freebie because they're expert at sneaking about and running about and deploying and all that stuff all right so let's draw a chip blue two who's that i think that that's, Fel that's Philippe Charbonneau. What does he want to do? Mm -hmm. He's going to deploy. All right, those are lights, so that's uh, up to nine inches. Oh, no, that's line troops, sorry. Six inches. And remember, facing matters as long as it sounds like looks like they're coming out in line, which I understand. Need to... All right. Six inches, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right, so they're up and out. There's nobody they can shoot at right now. Let's get another card. Blue three. Well, that's these fellas right here. Now. 
Yep. You, you notice they got this one point of shock. Well, that's disorder. If you don't like that, that's bad. I imagine they're going to want to shoot. But I would observe, I would observe that these fellows here, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Pure, he's a status two leader. He can take one of his two actions because he's a status two. And he can take off. He's a status three. He's a, he's, he is, he is leader three. He's a oh, status I see. Two. Yep. Gotcha. So he gotcha. Can, he yep. can use one of his actions to get rid of this point of shock if you want to, which I think you would want to. Yep. Yep. We'll use one of those. Right. And now he can, now he can give whatever order he wants to the continental light infantry here. Now, if they since he used one action to do that, if mm -hmm. they fire, he can't reload till next round. No, those next don't turn, see, right? and that's the biggest thing you got to learn about sharp practice. Those two actions are his. When okay. he gives that, that one wondering. action, okay. it gives two actions to these guys. Right. Okay, I got you. And because they're lights, they also get that free one d six of movement if you want it. In addition to the in, in, so really he can get three actions. Is that what he can get a movement and two actions? That third must always be a movement. Right, right, okay. So he can shoot, and then he can use the one d six to move. Yep, sure could. He can shoot and reload, in fact. All right. Or he could move, shoot, and reload. All that. Right. All right, we'll take a shot here at these. Uh lights all right well now this is this finally we get to see at long last we get to see we willy pym do his worst so we're gonna he is a special troop he is a marksman okay um and he is with a group of skirmish troops as intended thank you very much he can fire at a target with a greater chance of success using the marksman roll on the arsenal table any shock inflicted by this firing is doubled so he is going to roll what you're going to do is you're going to roll five dice but then you're also going to roll separately for wee willy pim all right so first thing we're going to do right. is we're going to so roll five, five, five dice <clears throat> for these regular fellows i think we determined that is short range yep so it's going to be five plus pure. He's a two. So that's seven dice at close range. Again, we'll just do the drill. Close range is usually four to six, but this is your first fire. And you are skirmishers, so you don't get that benefit. So it's going to be threes or better. Seven dice for threes or better. One, two, three, four. Right, now we're going to add a few more. Well, actually, we're going to do it separately. Now, because this group is adjacent to this group, they're a sharing of love. All right. You know, you're just kind of blazing away with gunfire. So it comes off right. two and two. So you're going to have to tell me, Ron, which one you want. Now, these guys, these guys are indeed in, this is a light company in light cover. So they're going to be hard cover just like these guys were skulking. Let me just make sure that that's not for skirmishers, that it's for lights as well. I know it's for skirmishers. Yes, it counts. All right, so they're going to count as in hard cover. So uh, it's going to be two and two. You tell me which is which. Five shocks, six kills. All right, I'll do this one first. All right, two dice. Nothing. These guys here. Oh, that's a kill. 
Hey, Jim, real quick. Um, Ian's asking, um, when the Americans took their casualties, was there not a chance for Pym to, to get hit also? Over here? No, because they were... Oh, yes, actually, you did roll for that. Oh, can... can I, ro I rolled take... for... Oh, I, I thought I rolled for pure. Can specialists be taken as a casualty? I don't think specialists take casualties that way. I, I just assume you take them last. That was always my understanding, is that you always take specialists last. Let me see here. That was always my understanding. Not that I'm right, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he's just uh he's he's another guy, so you you get he can be the last one to go. The only thing I see for those casualties is leader casualties, unless you want to point me at something. That has been my understandings. Okay. So marksman. Okay. Now, yeah, Ian was just asking. Yeah. And in some ways it kind of makes sense, right? Just because he's a uh... Yeah, you can't yeah, the leader you can see, right? So right. the marksman. Okay, so Ooh, ooh, he is nasty. Holy cow! You know, you know, we ought to change Pim's name to uh, John Wayne. Then there wouldn't be any question that he'd be the last one down, right? There, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So that is definitely close range. You get one die. The only trick is with him is he does take two actions to reload. So he's going to be unloaded. So he'll have to reload. Interesting. But now I can. You get. I'm sorry. I'm unloaded right now. No, you're the, the other guys are loaded. They, they, they can fire and load. Pim takes two actions to reload because he's got that, I'm sure he's got a super sneaky squirrel gun. So, gotcha. he, so he rolls, but he still does roll 1d6 and he needs that same, you know, it's 6, 5, 4, so it's going to be that any, you get 3 or better. On, on one die? On a one die, yep. This is, this is Wee Willy. Oh, two. no, you missed. Willy. Dang, hits missed. the tree behind me. Pew, Willy, no good for ya. All right, so that was the firing, and they're reloaded. Wee Willy is not. Can I shrink these enough to make it Wee Willy sized? I can't. Well, we'll just have to know that. To figure out some way of marking Wee Willy. All right, next chip. And then I can roll one d six. Oh, yes, and then yes. I can roll one d six to move. Absolutely. Six inches. Six. Oh, where's he going? And you have to face that way. All right. That's it. Present your back to me. That would be a flanking shot. No doubt about it. Yes, ain't blue where we can okay. just move and like face any direction. Well, you can you you go you can face any direction, but then you got to go that way. Right. Right. Which, oddly enough, is exactly the blue curve rule. All right. Wee Willie has thought the better of it. Red flag. Ooh, red two. I believe that would that, be these guys. My lights. Colors. Yeah. So now you've got a choice. They're in a formation. Their arc of fire looks like this. It's a bowling alley, I always call it. They can't see right. him. They, well, they can see him, but they can't shoot at him. Winchester can... Well, there, he can, he's can. he got two actions. you got a lot of choices. You can wheel them forward, forward to the left, but that's both their actions. What is step out? Step out is is an extra die of movement. Drill oh, okay. is an extra die when you're changing formation. Ah, uh, okay. 
So what you want to so do... So if I wheel, that would be both my actions. Yep. So I couldn't reload either this round, right? Correct. No, I'm going to let them reload. All right, that's one action. You could also advance 1d6 for the other one. Yeah, that's all I can do. All right. It's three inches. Straight ahead. Now, not that you would want to do this. Oh, no, never mind. That's Winchester. Keep going. That's it. Because once you hit that fence, that's an obstacle. you got to stop. Yeah, I was going to ask that. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. That's their actions. Next. Tiffin. All right. So, Mike, your two and your three activated. Your one is off the board. Ron, your two and your three activated. But your one is on the board. You have flag. You could use one of these flags to wake up this unit, the 7th Regiment of Foot, and move it. Give it two actions. You can't use any of the abilities that are associated with Arthur Fun, but he can come along for the ride. All right, we're going to move. Mm -hmm. Movement is 2d6, if you wish to use both your actions to do it. Five inches. You may oblique up to 45 degrees as you advance. Okay, like that. All right. And I don't think, Mike, that you had anybody that you could move, right? Uh, no. No, I did not. All right. Very cool. Here we go. I'll put all them chits back in the bag. Give him a shuffle. A blue one. Uh-oh. Woohoo! That is our big dog. There he is. Where's he going to be? He could also, remember, for free, move this deployment point up to 12 inches. But now you've deployed everybody. Well, I can move that deployment point before I move him, though, right? Correct. Before I deploy him? Yes. So I'm just going to set him off here to the side for a moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Move that up to 12 inches. 12 inches from here? From where it was. Okay. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a very... I like that move. It's strategic. Strategic, I say. And then six inches from here? Correct. Nobody farther than. Now, just... I'm pulling back, but I can't do something like this, right? I have to rotate them. In terms of wanting to be able to hit him? If you want to shoot him, um, it, when you're in formation, as I say, it's a bowling alley off your flanks. Straight ahead. Right. Yep. Actually, I'm probably pretty good. Actually, can I do something like this? Sure. Yeah. That's fine. I just got to make sure that you're... Yeah, these guys are way too far out. Okay. You know, because you, know, you got... Farthest you're going to be able to go out... It's about there. Like there? And that, that's your rightmost guy. Your right that's, point. That's, that's, that's it. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, your unit's so long, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a big, scary, nasty unit. <laughs> this is what it is. And does Chance need to go to one of the flanks? He needs to attach himself to one of the groups. 
He is, yeah. Okay. He, his commands are holding those three groups together. All right. So we can do something like that. He'll okay. Be, he'll be in the center. Okay. Got it. All right. There he is. Chances on the field. Blue flag. Blue flag. The big red one. He's going to stay. She's going to stay put? Yep. Okay. Two. Blue. See these fellers back here? All right. And they can move up to six? 2d6. 2d6. Oh, 2d6. Roll for roll. That's both their actions. Eight. Eight. You said I have to rotate them in the direction I want them to move them, correct? Right. Now, the it, yeah, if you as long as you do it there, you're fine. If you if you stay stationary during the turn, or if you want to turn at the end, that's a wheel. But otherwise, you can face them the way you want. And then can they rotate in? Nope. Wheel nope. back to the left. No, you okay, and that's fine. Yeah, that's that's what you cannot okay. do. All right, awesome. Up yep. they come. Now I'm going to tell you right now: be very careful about keeping guys behind each other this way. Bullets penetrate in this game, and if you are four inches okay. behind the guy in front, you can catch bullets. Red three. Interesting. What's he feel like? I want to move them first. How many? Just one action. All right. Take their free one. I have to automatically stop at this fence. Yep, yep. If you want to move over a fence, you got to roll. You got to use two actions. The way obstacles work, you got to use two actions. You roll two dice. You drop the lower, and you get to move the higher. Uh, okay. All right, I'll just stay at the fence then. Mm -hmm. And now, what you're gonna do? Fire at these guys. The, what? <laughs> I'm assuming that's no long range. Just barely, but it is. It actually works to your benefit. Right. Are you sure those sheep aren't covering me? Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> hiding amongst the sheep. Uh, Omira is a status one leader. They ran so now. Oh. Seven <laughs> dice. You want to? You got any flags to throw? And you don't. Seven dice. That is long range. But, 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 but you are a. Uh, you are a skirmisher at effective or long range. So seven looking for fives and sixes. Two hits. Unfortunately, Mike, you are now in the open. So, uh, no mat. Ooh, ooh. Just occurred to me that. And is he flanked or anything? Yeah, that's exactly. This is double shock. Any shock that hits is doubled. So, um, Mike, you're going to roll two dice. You're in the open. And so, therefore, three to five shocks, six kills. I'm sorry, how many dice? Uh, two hits. That's a kill. Uh, one and a six. That's a kill. Now, you do have to roll 1d6 because those are skirmishers. If it's a one, it is Nathaniel Pear. It is not. It's a He's oh, safe. close. Another guy dead. No shock. I need dead body markers. <laughs> Just, I actually have those, but it's, um, it's leaving the corpses around. So, yeah, they've... Uh, so once again, Sir Patrick, o Sergeant Patrick O'Mara's men shoot away and blast. They got it. All right, very good. 
Next chip. Tiffin. Turn over. Wow. Two blue flags. The only flags that are out. Uh, they moved. This would enable them to do something without their leader. Actually, it'd be my guys. Actually, it'd be his guys. Oh, blues. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Yep, you guys. Okay. Yep. Pure's, Pure can do something. Uh, he, he can't do anything. It's these guys. The guys can Those do guys something. can't. He can come with them. Okay. Because it's on a flag at the end of the turn, he's not allowed to do anything. All right. So I just want to move them. All right. Their full movement would be 3d6. If you're going to try to clear this fence, it basically is going to be the two dice and you drop the lowest. So say that again. If I assume, well, where do you want to get them to? Just the gate, the open gate. You want to get them over to the gate? All right. So, yeah. So what you're going to do is then just roll. Uh, they have a total of 3d6 you can roll. That's that's a full tilt, light guys hauling butt. Gotcha. And Six they inches. still don't get very much. Apparently they tripped in that, uh, far, that sheep fold. Somehow. Sheep chipped them. Sheep chipped right. Oh, that sheep got him. They slipped in the sheep poop. Yeah, right in the sheep dip. There we go. There we go. All right, there they run. Is that it? I think that's it. That's it. Blue flag. Red one. All right, I'm going to move them. 2d6. 2d6. Oh, that's right. Now, actually, I'm only... Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm only going to make you learn 12 different sets of rules. Don't worry about it. Ooh, big move. You got to move the whole 12. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Or then I don't want to move them. All right. Yeah, whatever you roll, you got to move. Unless, unless, like Mike did, you say, I want to go to this spot. Right. Nah, I'm good then. I'm stuck. Right. He's staying. You're good? All right. Yeah. Red flag. Blue three. Here they are again. Running away. Run away. Run away. Yep. What they're going to do. Now, are they currently unloaded or are they, are they reloaded? They're loaded. They are, the only they are one loaded. that isn't. Okay. The only one that isn't, remember, if you want to take, if you want to take it, you'd have to take an action to do it, is Pim. He is unloaded. All right. He, yeah. All right. So to answer the question many are asking, Philippe Charbonneau is the principal character in John Jake's The Bastard, a potboiler romance of the AWI that, that uh, played on television in 1979-80 here in America. It was a gigantic hit. It was the only thing anybody was talking about at the time. All right. Got nine inches of movement. So let me ask you this, Jim. Yep. If I want to try and move them back over to this area here on the road in between the two fence rows, mm -hmm. how do I go about doing that? The best way is just to shoot that angle and eat it for the fence, probably. Because you're not going to be able to do it anymore. Right. Right? You're going to, yeah. Um, and so what's something the lowest? Like that. You just, you're just dropping a one, right? Yeah. So what? So that yeah, so I still got eight, eight so inches. Got eight inches, yeah. And so we imagine that you are clambering over that fence, but you will have to face that way. Yeah. Yep. I'll get it. All right. I believe something about like that. Yep. You're, you've clambered over that fence, and now you are running down that lane. It's like yep. that. Doing very well. I like it. Like the new roads, by the way. Those are lazy boys. Yeah, they are nice. They're too tall. Guys keep falling over when they get on the edges. There you go. It's all better. All right, there they go running. 
Here we go. Red three. What do you think, Amira? <laughs> 24 inches. Are you inside? Yeah, you are. Yeah, taking a shot. All right, so seven for five. Keep and those six. boys running. Seven for fives and sixes. Oh, two hits. two hits. Same deal again, Mike. Except now you're at long. You're you've got some cover going for you, so you get that bonus. So uh, five shocks, six kills, two dice. No, no flying shot. Oh, but shocks are double. Shock is doubled. And speaking of which, double shock. Yep, double shock. When does shock start to matter? When you are, when you have a point more shock than you have men in your unit. Also, this costs him two inches of movement every time he moves. And it also now will cost him one die every time he fires. That's that's expensive. That's an expensive little bit of pew pew, and I'm assuming they're gonna fire. I'm I'm assuming your skirmishers fired and reloaded. Correct. All right. Blue two. All right. He is just gonna stay pat right now. All right. Figured he might. Blue flag. That's two flags. Tiffin. So, two blue flags are out. America plays one flag first if it wishes. Yep, we do. What you gonna do? Move my continental line. Alright, two dice. Five. Five. Now, if I, all I really wanted to do was get them to say, like, over here. Mm hmm. Pretty much facing the that same is, direction. Believe it or not, that is called advancing to the flank. You can use okay. well, you can use one of your actions to roll that die. I'll let you have your higher die, which was a four. You move that, and your second. So what you're what you must imagine them doing is turning to their right, advancing those four inches, and then turning with their second action to face to the left. So you you basically roll the you take the one die, you scooch to the right, and you call it done. <sighs> So, four I'm just going to grab here a couple of, yeah. So, you're going to move, you're just going to slide four inches to the right. Or, yeah, because you got to go the full four. Okay. There you go. And then from there. Nope, that's it. I just, that's it. Oh, oh okay, I thought you said you nope. still advance. No, up. you no, you are turning, you have now turned. Oh, the turn, gotcha, okay. You have, you have advanced gotcha. to the flank. It's one of the things I just... As I've said before, I love sharp practice for a lot of reasons. One of them is it actually cares about the drill. So that's these guys. Now you run because he played a flag. You get to play a flag too if you wish. If you have so, yeah, you have these guys. Which one do? Firing across the field at these guys. Can you see them? Uh, that's actually not what I meant. What I meant is. Um, all right, this is a light company. They can controlled volley. They can also, and I presume that's what you want to do. You want to do a present and fire that will leave you unloaded. Yes. All right. I know. Just checking. And this is your, there we go. This is My not their shot, first fire. They showed, right. they showed up this way. So let's count them up. Seven, 15, 16, 17. No cards to throw at it. And this is a, this is a present fire situation. So, and that's long range, we know that. I remind myself, this is a controlled volley, so that's 18. Oh, that's a firing adjustment, Never mind. So 17 dice, long range is six, controlled volley is five. 
and that is light infantry, Carla, correct? Yep. Correct. So that's four. So that is 17 dice for fours. That's a bunch. How many is that? That's nine. Nine. Uh, Mike, nine Ooh, dice, half. five shocks, six kills. Not flank. Uh, again, double shock. Uh, three kills Ooh. and two shocks. Oh. Oh, grim. First things first, 1d6 for we or for uh for peer three or less, he's the victim. He is. Three. You have hit Pim. He's as they attempted to get past that fence suddenly. <laughs> All the rail fence stuff. Oh my gracious. Now we have to find Hey, real quick. Yep. Hesterbull's asking if you can add leader dice. Um, leader shooting dice during Tiffin. Of course you can't. You just ask him. Of course you can't. Yeah, you got two more. You got two more than you should have got, but it's. I don't know how to take that back right now, so I'm not going to do it. It's just I'm going to give yeah. Mike one shot like that too. He's absolutely right. Mike, one d six. Roll for it. What happens to him? Or he is. He has received a light wound, so he is. His abilities drop by one. He is now a status one leader. But he is not dead, which is a good thing. However, so there was a total... What was your total, Mike? I think it's only fair that I give you one of those kills back as part of that die roll thing. So how many kills total were there? Um, three. Three. So there were only two. He's one of them. Another kill is here. How much shock? Two. That's four. Okay. So you have six guys. You have four. You have six shock. You have four guys. That means you have to withdraw. Um, you have to look the wrong. You have to look the right way, actually. You're looking at the guys that did it to you. And we're up there going. <laughs> yeah, on the on the way they have to look at the guys that did it to them. They are going to withdraw. Lights, lights, lights. A total of two inches. So, and this is irrespective of terrain. So they're going to go back this way two inches. So. Uh, and a number, so therefore a number of horrible things have happened here. So we have to roll on the bad things happen table. This is where your force morale begins to collapse. Do, 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 bad things happen. He's a status two leader. He was wounded. Mike, please roll a 1d6. Roll low. You want to roll low. Three. Three. That costs you one point from your force morale. In addition... Uh, a group was obliged to withdraw. Roll 1d6. Again, you want to roll low. You, one. That cost you nothing. So, that cost you one from your force morale. You have dropped... Or did you do it already? No, yes, I did. Okay, so you're at a 10 now. I, I started at 11. Yeah, so yep. you're at a 10. So you have slipped... Because these guys took that, and they're, oh my goodness, how can this terrible thing happen to me? They have chosen to withdraw slightly this way. Good shooting, 16th Regiment of Foot. And I think that was it, right? Because... Yes. Yep. Yep, that was it. That was it. Red 2. Reload. One action. Ah, I guess that's all they could do. I mean, you can't move forward. Yes, they can. There's a fence there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, that's right. They were costly too. Well done. All right. That's it. But they are reloaded. Blue flag. Blue flag. Blue one. All right. And you said for these guys to shoot, it's bowling alley, right? Yep. They can only shoot straight ahead. I got no shot. So if I want to get them facing, I'm just going to borrow these guys right here for the moment. I want to try and get them facing this way. You're, maybe you're gonna have up to a little a, bit. You're going to have to do it over two turns. You're going to have to advance okay, that's them. That's fine. You're going to have to advance them, and then you're going to have to wheel them. Okay. And on the third turn, you'll be able to fire them. And just make sure you keep a very slight gap between the eights, just because it does matter. Okay. Actually, I think the only thing, yeah. So two dice? Correct. Eight. Eight. Okay. And what if I just want to rotate them here? If you want to rotate them here, you can just do that for free. Rotate, but then you have to move in that direction, and you're not going to... Right. And remember, you can oblique up to 45. But that's fine. And the house is probably going to be partially in your yeah, way. That's, when that's to not going to get it done. What, that, that previous one I'm fine with. That's going to glance the house. Okay. But that's, yeah, that would be fine. Okay. I'm good. Oh, all right. Blue flag. Red flag. A lot of stuff going on there now. Look at all these flags. Look at the things you can do if you want to. Holy cats. All right. Mike has flags in a row. blue flag, and that's three flags in a row, which means we get a random event. But the other key thing is we got four flags, which means, Mike, you could technically jump in if you wanted to and activate this guy again. He'd get a bonus activation. Okay. But first, we got to check for that random event. Mike, 2d6, since you were moving. Five. Five. Spitting feathers. All movement from now on is minus one per pip unless you can get a drink of water. Unfortunately, you there is no water on this board. So these guys, super thirsty. Minus one per die for the rest of the game. Okay. All right. But now you can jump in and, and reactivate them if you wanted to, or we can just keep moving. And if I... Can I hold on to that reactivation? Sure. Absolutely. It's like a okay. hand of cards, and yep. it's, it's, you're just looking at it right now. Blue two. Okay. He, all in, he's going to stay right where he's at for the moment. Red flag. Two. Oh, three red flags. Now, Ron, you could activate anybody on the board, any leader on the board that hasn't been activated if you wanted to. And what did the what abilities does the leaders have? Well, the main thing is he gets to do what he gets to give his activation stuff and gets to stay with them and give them their firing bonuses, maybe rally off shock. I'll be right back. And, you know, all that stuff. But now you get your red three. All right, these guys are gonna roll two dice, climb over the fence. Yep. Six inches, straight ahead. And remember, you also have that other one inch of free movement, unless you took it in there or whatever you want to do. No, I didn't take it in there. Can I use that one free inch of movement to turn them? No, you cannot. Oh, well. That okay. requires your entire activation. Right. Okay, I'm good. 
Well, no, as a matter of fact, if you, yeah, if you just want to spin in place, it takes your whole activation. But if you want to turn and move, you can just do that for free. And, and obviously, just in case it isn't clear, the sheep aren't really there. I mean, no, because I just want them to move it, <coughs> move it face this way. If you want to move them, just, but you got to, you got to go as far as they roll. Right, right. That's what I mean. I mean, that's yeah, the direction. Yeah. And that, yeah, yes, you can do that with a 1d6. Well, that's even better. There you go. Just kind of curious how these guys are feeling about walking in the line of fire with their brothers in the light company, but I'll leave that to the side. I'm back. All right. And that was red three. It's all right. They're done firing. <laughs> you got four. You too have four flags. So you too, Ron, could take a bonus activation for a leader. If you were so inclined. And there's Tiffin. So too late for that. Now it's a question, is there anybody on the table that didn't get activated that you guys want to activate? I don't think so. I three. Oh, you want to do your three? I had one unit. You did not have My. your three activate? You did not? Okay, yes. So you obviously pure, have a pure. you got a boatload of flags, so feel free to activate your three. Alright. So I just want to move him. Okay. Now one thing I will mention about activating pure because he is a status one leader. If he activates, the one thing he can do alone, if you want to wait till the end of the turn to move, no, he can't do that right now. He can take off one point of shock per turn. He's not great at it, but he can do it. But right now, obviously, you just want to move, so that's three dice. And then it's a penalty for each dice, right? Correct. No. Not for each dice, total. Yeah. Uh, and you, what total. did you just roll? Uh, five. You're going nowhere. You can't move. Yep. Yep. Those guys are those guys are not feeling it. Did you have anybody you wanted to move around? Nope. All right. Red, oh, blue one. All right, so they could move forward and then shoot, but they wouldn't be, but then they would not be loaded, correct? What's this, uh, what's this now? <clears throat> if if I wanted to, I could advance them forward. One die. Right, and then shoot if they were in range, but then they would be unloaded at that Correct. time. Correct, and the other thing is, you do get you can do controlled volleys, and you would be firing uncontrolled because you didn't present and fire. When you do an right. uncontrolled volley, you fire on that bowling alley essentially nonstop <laughs> until your leader can convince you to stop shooting forward. Gotcha. All right, we'll uh, stay pat. You're right where you are. All right. Red three. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my one free movement. All right. Being a jerk, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, and I'm firing at. at I, of course, these you are. Guys. Don't be ridiculous. I knew exactly what you were doing, as as I think <laughs> Ian put it in the chat. Kel surprise. The uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, now. I think you're at close range now, aren't you? Yeah, it's, that's yeah, close you range. Are. Yeah, you are. So, ooh, uh, you're not at long range. You don't get your. You're a skirmisher, so you don't get your super. You don't get your, but you're hitting on four or five sixes. So seven dice for four or five six. Three, three hits. hits. He so Mike, you got to roll three and uh, it's five shock sixes kill. 
Oh, uh, two, kill, oh. two kills. Two oh. d six. Two. Oh, sorry. One d six on a two or a less. It's. One d six. One d six. Five. That's fine. So it's these two fellers are dead. Interestingly enough, it is not extra shock, but oh, there it is though. They now have double shock, so they are in full route. So, uh, Mike, you're gonna roll two d six, and we're going to add uh, twelve inch. I think it's twelve inches. Yeah, two d six plus twelve. Eighteen. So, uh, yeah, eighteen inches straight that way. That's off the and board. Off and they're, the board. And gone. That's it. Now, bye -bye. they stay there. They st they actually sit right here until the until the end of the chapter. They don't, I believe, get. They don't count as broken until the end of the chapter, but they are routed. Um, so they park right there. Now that is, of course, a bad thing happening. So Mike, you're going to roll a one d six again. You want to roll low, as always. That is another Two. point off your force morale. Got it. All right. And uh, they're not going to have a lot to do with anything, really. Um, all right. There was the chip. Blue flag. Blue flag. Tiffin. Mike, uh, you had a chance to activate him and did not. You could activate him if you wished. I'm going to. All right, go right ahead. All right. And just going to move him. Where are you going to move him? What's that? Where are you going to move him? Actually, going to rotate him around and head him back to ah. the hay cart. Well, fair enough. Go ahead. So the 180 doesn't cost anything, yeah, right? At, at the start of the turn, it doesn't. Okay. I rolled, what, a six? Don't take your uh, deployment marker with you. Yeah, I know I got it. Okay. Because these deployment points are important to you, they represent. Your yeah, yeah, I didn't mean to grab it. I was. They represent. Yeah, I was going to move back. And if uh, if certain bad guys get close enough to them, that's another bad thing happening. All right, that was Tiffin. Red two. Moving. Okay. Right, before I roll this, ah, uh, no, I'll be able. To... Actually, I'm trying to rotate. Can I just rotate them to go this way? You mean just all the way? Sure. Well, I was, yeah. Well, I mean, way, the problem you know, is, is that these guys got to clear that wall. All right, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, right. you got to... Oh, formations over obstacles. I was hoping to move this guy. Uh, yeah. Let me see here. Formation effects on obstacles. Yep, that is not a high or wide obstacle. It is a minor obstacle. You 
can just yeah yeah basic basically you're gonna cross it with this you got you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna pivot it he'll get over it yeah and then you're gonna get the six inches straight ahead but then they got to stop same reason Yep, okay, that's I just want to make sure. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Flag. Blue one. No hold. Blue flag. Tiffin. One apiece who's got the higher force morale. I think we're uh, tied. We're tied. You're tied. Uh, neither is the defender, so you roll 1d6. It goes flags, morale, and then roll. Ron, you're up. Ron. You want to use one? Yeah. Okay. What they going to do? I'm going to have them move first. How much does it cost for them to move at the end? Do you have to use both your actions? Skirmishers? No. I mean, it's the turning okay. that costs. That's what I mean. That's your whole move. It's your whole activation. Uh, oh, I see what you said. Okay. Never mind. Then I'll move. Are these guys firing bowling alley too? Even nope. though they're skirmishers? Mm -mm. That's a group. They've got a shot. Yep. Down here. Yeah, they do. Holy cow. That is a shot. Long range. Uh, five. That's how I like it. Seven dice, fives or sixes. One. Yeah, one hit. That's heavy cover, Mike, so it's over here. Um, it's uh, five, five shocks, six kills. Shock. Oh, oh, there's a present. And that's double shock, right? It is not. You're not fully at his flank. I thought it was firing at his flank. I thought it was firing. Oh no, at his you're. Flank. Oh, I, I, I thought he was facing the other way. Yeah. That's no. Kind of, that, that is double shock. I missed that. Probably would see it better if I had color coded bases or something. <laughs> yeah. Somebody pointed that out at the beginning of the. Yeah. yeah. Of the chat. Good shooting there, Tex. If you can't tell the uniforms are red and blue, then you're in trouble. Yeah, I, I was going to say. Mike, did you want to do something with your flag? Sure. Yeah. It's, it's only these guys. Actually, I don't think eligible. I can. Well, it's only those guys. what's that? It's only these guys that are eligible. Because they already activated Yeah, yeah. Right, that's the only ones I wanted to do. Anything I take it with, back. So. I take it back. That's a leader activation. These guys could go because they just sat there. If you wanted to, these right. guys could go. No, no, it's it's All these right. guys I want to. Which one do deal with? Uh, basically, you just want to rotate them around. All right, that's your whole activation. Yep. Oh no, I'm sorry. You're doing it in place. So you've actually got to roll 1d6. You've got to roll 2d6 and drop the lower one. That's how far you get to move them. Yeah, wheeling is wheeling is expensive. Ah, but six inches uh, is pretty good. Six inches is pretty good. Oh, that's a boatload. You're going this way, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Back them up. Back them up. No. Because you got to keep it as a wheel off of this flank. Okay. That's fine. That's fine what you just did. Right about there? Yeah, I can go with that. Okay. All right, that's it.
Red flag. Red flag. Tiffin. Tiffin. Really? Yeah. Ron, you got two things you can do. Is that so? Seven dice, fives or sixes. One hit. I'm sorry, I gotta make you re-roll it because that's Omira. It's on a flag. He can't add, so it's six dice, fives or sixes. My apologies. Okay, that actually wound okay. up being better. That's yeah, three hits. <laughs> three hits. Uh, now this is no longer in the flank, and in addition, it'll be shared. So uh, now these guys are under cover. So it is up to Mike to figure out where the X... Now it's going to be two and one. So you've got to determine which group it goes to, Mike. So it's either here or here. Where do you want the extra one two. to go? Two. over there? All right. Two here. So which one do you want to roll? Just go from left to okay. left to right. Five kills. Five shocks, six kills. Two shocks. Ooh. And that was to these fellas here, right? The one's on the left. Oh, okay. Yes. And then one on the right. Oh! A kill. Merciless. Roll 1d6 to see if it's Wow, these Charbonneau. guys have been very effective. Oh, they've been wrecking things. It Four. is not Charbonneau. But that, that you didn't want. That you, those, those, these little bastards. <laughs> you know. This. I can activate one more, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's who's gonna go? These guys are gonna move one die. Okay. Slow and stately trot of drums. Alrighty. Red flag. Red flag. Blue flag. That's a random event. These guys were moving. Ron, give me a 2d6. Oh, yeah. Four. Make way. <laughs> yeah. The leader the leader commands the unit which last move is accidentally barged down by his own men. On his next activation, <laughs> he cannot move or use his initiative and will simply dust himself down and straighten his cravat. If in a narrow alley, two inches or less, he cannot be passed by any friendly troops. Alrighty then. What have you done to Arthur Fun? What have you done? <laughs> For shame. My guys were excited. I don't know. For shame. <laughs> oh, oh, but it's Sergeant Harper. Or Matt, I see you say Harper because I love my Sharp series. It's Sergeant O'Meara. He's going to roll that seven dice for fives and sixes. Because now he does get to add. Good Lord, O'Meara. What Great is this hits. shooting? What is this shooting? Three dice. Where do you want the extra mic? Same place. Yeah, we'll just keep it the same. All right, left to right. Nothing. This is... On the other? Nothing. First time he's... Right. I think that's the first time he's missed all day. Yeah. Tiffin. Tiffin. Ron, you have two cards. You may play. He w Did he go? He did not. That was last turn. Uh -uh. Ooh, these guys. 2d6. Drop one. Oh, and they also are a light company, so they will also get a third movement once they clear the fence if you want it. Five. gonna say be real careful about that <laughs> where do you want him to go shit 
All right, that was one card. Mike, you got to play? Yeah. I'm going to shoot with my uh, state line troops. Oh, okay. Uh, you get two activations. Now, they are eligible for a present day, I believe. Ooh, and if these guys ever... Now, they started off in formation. If they ever lose this formation, they cannot rejoin it unless you get rid of all their shock. All right? Okay. They can do one controlled volley. Okay, their first only, which is a present and fire, which would leave them unloaded. They also will get a first fire bonus. Do you wish to present and fire and leave them unloaded? No. All right. So you're just, what you're then going to do is you're just going to start banging away in this direction. You will not be able to move them. You will not be able to turn them. You won't be able to get them to stop shooting unless you make a successful roll by Charbonneau to get their attention. All right. All right. You accept. Very good. They are now firing in an uncontrolled manner. They're just blasting away forward here at the, uh, and Omira, that's how much they hate Omira. This is long range for them. Uh, they, you are talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, minus 2 for the shock, so 13. 13 shots, usually for 6s, but this is first fire, so it drops it to 5s. I see nothing else. 13 do all my guys get do all my guys have a shot because of the barn yeah i'm fine with it i'm fine with it. it's okay. close enough. that's why i just wanted to double there's, check there's, a, there's an explicit statement in the rules that don't you know you're supposed to be a little generous 50 uh 13 okay. shots 13 shots looking for fives or sixes here they come uh one two three four five how is that Four fives and two sixes. So six. That is six shots right over here on you. Now, the one thing you got going for you, of course, Omira, is that you are skirmishers and you have cover. So this is going to count as uh, five shock, six kills, six dice. One shock. All right, that was that. And uh, British, you can go again. The only people okay. th I think you could move or would be the ones. It's him, yeah. Right. Well, we're good. You're good? All right, shuffle it up. Blue one. All right, and what, how far do we have to be to be in range? 24 inches. 24. So. And my other problem is, is he's not within my bowling alley. So you're telling me if I All grab right. the figure on the end of the formation, the line will rotate on the figure you grab. Oh. So, Jim, I'm going to try that with just these lads here. So yeah, rotate yeah. on that. God. Look at that. Dead sexy. Thanks, Az. So anyway, what you gonna do, Mike? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. Alright. That didn't just happen. Oh. I just wanna see what uh. Oh <laughs> Well, where have oh, you been look, all Oh, look, American reinforcements. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Look at that. We have wheels, folks. All right. We have honest to God wheels. So groovy. Thanks, Ez. My problem is, is if I wheel these guys. Yeah, you're going to lose your shot. There's no doubt. I'm going to lose part of my shot. So okay. I'm just going, I'm going to take one dice in advance. All right. Troop, troop, troop. Actually, let me think about this. Yeah. Four inches. Bad. I 
as one of their two actions. Yep. And still not. Nope. Sure you are. Well, but is that lined up? Yeah. Okay. You'll hit, you'll we'll take a him, shot. You'll hit him and share it over to there. Okay. That's what you'll get. If that's what, now you only have one action, so you're going to leave yourself unloaded too. Right. So you okay with that? Yep. Yep. We'll take a shot. All right. Blam, blam, blam. And it's also going to be uncontrolled. Okay. Because you can't present and fire. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, we will. Man, these these, these rebs, they are into the shooting is what they're into. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's also roughly the length of the Bible is what's going on. <laughs> Holy cow. So it's... Uh, 24. Is that... It's more than that. You no, know, these are... Is these just 24? Yeah, 24 <laughs> plus... Chance, who's a three, 27 dice. Ah! 20, though, that, however, is a six. First fire for a five. I don't see anything else. Ready? 27 dice for fives. Blam! There's a lot of missing there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is a mother loving lot of hits. I will not lie. All right. So now. So what's the disadvantage of a control uncontrolled fire? He <laughs> Just is that, that now won't stuck. Be able to take orders. He is now stuck facing this way. Okay. It's a honestly, it is a huge problem. It's, you know, he's going to have to work to get, now, maybe, maybe the first time he tries, he yells at somebody and they, and they follow orders, but I've seen guys run all the way around units that were firing to the front. All right. You know, so, uh, anyway, right. nine hits. Uh, if you're running around me on this map where I'm at right now, we got bigger issues. You're, yeah, you're now wrong, you're kind of blocked. That. You are not wrong about that. So, um, anyway, Ron, you are in the open, so Mike gets to choose uh, where the extra guy goes, and I got a funny hunch he's going to put it where Arthur Fun is. Yep, right there. Yep. So Arthur is on this side. He's on, well, whichever side. Okay, whichever side he was on, that's where that's where Mike's going to stick it. So um, well, I seen facing backwards because he's remember he's trampled. Oh, that's right. That's right. He's got to activate to get rid of that trample. Yep. Um, so now you've got uh, five dice here, Ron. You are in the open, but it's you're in the open. Those are line troops. Three to five shocks, six kills. Three shocks. And then four over here, three to five shocks, six kills. Oh, two kills, two shock. So take care of that. No, we can. Hmm. Uh, two kills. Uh. Yeah. All right. Well, they came around that corner and they gave them one shot for hell. We'll see what the rest do. Yeah. Blue flag. Tiffin. One activation for you, Mike. Uh, the sec the state line here. What are they gonna do? Uh, they're gonna shoot. Uh, aren't they like on controlled fire right now? So I guess that's all they're doing. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's all they can do. And they can't even right. get back into order because because uh, dude is that way. So so they still get his bonus in uncontrolled no, order. No, or? no, they 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 get no. they will get his, they get his bonus if he activates them and directs their fire. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I, okay. Yeah, once they start bang, once they start banging away, he's got he's got to grab a hold of them. Eight, fifteen, minus two, thirteen, thirteen for sixes. No, thirteen for sixes. And Nothing. nada. Oh, one. one, one nope, hit. one. Five shock, six kills. Oh. 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 No. Wait, doesn't he have to roll for uh Nope, that's Amir? not a skirmisher. No. If your guys were, were lights or skirmishers, or actually skirmishers ah, gotcha. in a broad category, they're trained to shoot for leaders. That guy is not. Gotcha. Okay. So, this this hail of lead is being poured on by the Delaware state line, and for whatever reason, this guy from the 16th from Banbury just caught it. <laughs> Uh oh. The big red one. Called uh, fire. Now remember uh now remember Arthur Fun can't do anything this turn. Remember he was trampled? In, uh, his, in his activation. He's he's rolling he's having fun rolling around in the dirt. He's he is told and again it's the leader has on his next he cannot move or use his initiatives. And will simply dust himself down and straighten right. his cravat. All right, so he's they're stuck. They're stuck. Yep, but he's out of that. Blue flag. Blue flag. Tiffin. Yeah, you're kidding me. Uh -huh. I'm not. Mike. Yeah, actually, these uh, so these guys are currently unloaded, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they could reload this at this time? Yep. They can reload and fire. Okay. All right. That's what they'll do. I think it's just going to be sixes again. Uh, it's 24. 24 for sixes. One, four two, shots. three, four. Two and two. Run. Five shocks, six kills. Nothing. Nothing. That was these guys here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go with these guys. Two shock. Got another flag, Mike. Yep. And then the state line, Delaware state line boys will shoot also. Yeah. 13 for sixes. Uh, one. one. Five shock, six kills. Uh. Okay. Gonna get a really good shuffle this time. Red flag. Blue flag. Blue two. So now he can try to get control. Is that right? Correct. The first thing he can do is try to get if Starbin, and that's for free. The other thing he can okay. do, he can try to get control, and then because he is a status two leader, he can take off one point of shock from either one of these units. All right. So first, so thing let's you try and do get. Is, let's try to get that control back. Right. Yep. Yes. Uncontrolled troops. Uh, those are regulars. Oh wait, those are conscripts or both. Which unit is that, Mike? State line. Yeah, that's the. Uh, they are, they are considered regulars. Three to six, they obey. One d six. Correct. And they, they, they obey. Heard they heard you. They're good. So they can get one shock. Off of either one. Yep. All right, I got it. There you go. I don't know that now. it mattered because they're both at two. Yep. Now he's got one okay. activation left. And he will do a fire. Okay, he's gonna have, a, have him do a fire and reload. They are, they can no longer control volley anyway, so they're just gonna do a fire and reload, and they're not they're just shooting straight ahead. But he's got them under control now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is fourteen dice for sixes because.
because they lost that point of shock. One, two, two. two. Five shock, six kills. Oh, that one. Omira is very upset now. He's offering imprecations against the American dogs. <laughs> mm -mm, they're fine. Oh, they oh, fired, that's right. They, they reloaded. Didn't they? reloaded. Red flag. Blue one. Ooh, Let's see, can I, I could interrupt that though, can I? Uh, you can interrupt that with a unit that has not activated, not with Arthur Fun. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Three right, would allow you ahead, to, Mike. three would allow you to do Arthur Fun. All right. Which one do you, Mike? Uh, we'll just reload and fire. Uh, okay, so with the reload and fire, which is going to leave you unloaded. Actually, he he can first of all he can try to yep try to get control mm -hmm. back right three to six yeah. Missed. Oh, so they're still uncontrolled. Blam, 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 blam. Yep. Uh, a twelve. Sorry, 816, 24, but chance is, that's right, he's uncontrolled. He, this is uncontrolled. So 24 yep. for sixes. Uh, one, two, five. three, four, five. Uh, we'll split it up, Mike. I presume you want to put the three over here. Yeah, three, two. Five shots, six kills. Nothing. Nothing. That's the one saving grace. He he's got a whole lot of lead pouring down, but he's not able to hit you. Yeah. Red three. I could take the shock off of them, right? Uh, no. Omira's only got the one activation. So if you want him in, if you want him ordering them, he's got to use it for that. All right. Then I order them. I'm gonna fire. One, two, hey, Hass says that the state line guys are uncontrolled again. I think that's what he's saying. Oh, that's right, because you didn't offer a controlled volley. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's that whole present fire thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't present and fire, that's correct. Good point, as ever. All right, so uh, what is that, six dice? Yes, uh, one, two, three, four, five dice. Five dice for fives and sixes. One hit. One hit. Uh, he's in the open, so you can put it over here, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Kill. Oh, a kill. 1d6, is it the leader? It is no. Not. fella comes off plink 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 blue flag red two been a while since winchester's done anything i know been a wheel in place all right roll it Two dice. Oh, sorry. You get another one. Ah, no, I'll give you the three. I'll give you the three. Is this yeah. five? So you got five. So now the deal is, you see what you got to do? You grab them all and turn and click on that guy. Go ahead. Do it. Now turn. Look at that. It's so dead sexy. There you go. That's a little more than three, right? <laughs> no, no, no. That was yeah. that was five. Because you had a five and a three, remember? Ah, oh, right, 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 right. 
Yeah. Just bearing in mind, you've now wheeled your way into here. I know. Pat, just putting that out there. Red flag. Now you could interrupt with one of your non-activated leaders. Tiffin. So, Ron, you have one, two, three out. Yeah, so you're up. Ron, do you want to activate one? Yeah, I have. All right. What you going to do? Take a shock away. He cannot take shock off. That's only on funds oh. activation. Oh, that's right. It's freaking... Uh, I keep forgetting about that. Da, 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 da. All right, we'll do that... Uh... Same formation he did over here. We turn these guys this way and then. Oh, you want to look move that to way. the flank? Sure. 2d6. So you basically get to go two inches to your left. There you go. All right, Mike, do I see one, two, your three has not, oh, your three is toast. So. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Ron, did you, you moved your, your three, your two, and you, yeah, that's it. Everybody went? Yep. As just says that when you're wheeling, you're not required to go your full distance rolled. You can stop wherever you want to oh, really? on a wheel. Okay, there you go. Yep. Well, that's that's easy enough. Ron, are you okay where you wheel to or you want to wheel less? I guess we have an answer to that question. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be shooting now. Blue three. You don't have a three. Yeah, he does. They're back. They, you can, you can actually back here. take off one shock back there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. He's he's got all he can do is take that shock off, and hope uh, okay. that, and hope that the thing don't end before. Because because if the if the chapter ends, he routes off the table, and that's another bad thing. Right. Red three. That's these boys. Oh shooty. Oh shooty says he. One, two, three, four, five, four, fives and sixes. Three hits. Ooh. They're in the open, so you get to pick. I imagine you're going to put two right there. Yep. So, Mike, uh, two. Nothing. Misses. Mm -hmm. Oh, those aren't lights at all, though. You're in the open under light cover, so I think that actually might be Four. a shock. That might be a shock. You're in light cover. Yeah, four to five is a shock for you. Boop. Hey. Okay. He got booped. Blue one. All right. We'll sh All right. Well, first of all, try to gain control. No. Did not again. And they will just keep shooting. 27? Or oh, is it 27? Yeah. He's a status three. And you're still. I thought, was... yeah. Yeah, I thought I was on control, though. He doesn't add his. Yeah. Last oh, time it was right, 24. Yeah. 24 for sixes. Yep. 24 for sixes. Quite yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. Two and two. <laughs> Nothing. Ooh, One no. death. Uh, death of getting, a thousand needles. They're 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 getting they're getting they're getting touchy. Yeah. They're getting touchy. The bad things are happening. Red flag. Blue flag. Red two. There you go. <laughs> they it's say old. hi. They say hi. How are you? Um. All right. 
Now those fellows fired when they first walked on the battlefield, so everybody yes. fired. Yes. But, 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 but. That is yeah. So, uh, what is he? What is Winchester? Now, do you wish to make it a controlled volley, i.e., present and fire, which will leave them unloaded? Yes. Okay. Makes a difference, as we know. If you had, now I'm gonna. If you had one more flag, I believe these guys have crashing volley, which double shock. Yep. If you'd have had one more flag, you could have called for a crashing mm. volley, which is, which is altogether rather nasty. But never mind, that isn't the concern. Um, What's the sharp practice point? Sharp practice. What that is, you say to the unit. You may do one, you play two command cards, typically. I forget what his is. Uh, he has, yeah, it's typically two. You play two cards, and then automatically they get to do one shooting action. It can be load, it can be present, it can be fire. Oh, okay. And it's out of sequence, and it's an interruption. So, returning to our count, uh, da, 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 2, 10, 17, usually for sixes, but, but, it's a controlled volley, so that's fives, and it's light infantry firing, so it's fours, 17 for fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, two. These are in the open. So three to five shocks, six kills. Where do you want to go, Mike? Uh, left to right. So one kill, That's kill on the left. Is it your left or my left? Sorry. Um, my, I'm sorry. These okay. guys. Kill. Shock in the middle. Yep. And then a shock in the middle. And two shocks on the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is controlled fiery behavior. Blue two. Likewise. All right. So really, so the only reason that I want to try and get these guys back under control is to get some shock taken off, correct? Um, he, no, I mean, right now at, at the activation, he's what, a two? He could take a shock off right now and still have them. He can still order them to fire. What you, you get him under control so you can add his bonus. Gotcha. Okay. So 1d6, roll to 3. You got him. So that's fine. So now you've got two activations. How are you going to use them? All right. We will take one shock here off, right. and we will do a fire. All right. So that's going to be uncontrolled again. If you want it to be controlled, you have to present, which ah, would, which would okay. cost, that's which right. would, which mean you can't fire. I can't fire or I can't take the shock off. Well, you can present and then you can't fire if you take the okay. shock off. If you take if okay. you don't take the shock off, you can present and fire, but you're unloaded. Okay. We'll present and fire. I put the shock back on already. All right. So you are unloaded. Very good. I'd say by first only for their control hey. volley. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Well, that's because now they can't. Uh, so, so Mike, it's moot for those guys. They, they, are, they only can control volley the once. Okay. When it's their first shot, so they are they are uncontrolled. So you okay, might as so well take I might the well... shock off. Yep. Right. Okay. And so they don't have to about ever re reloading. They get to fire every turn. Yeah, 
just kind of like these guys and and really anybody else. They just they just don't have the discipline. And that plus one is a okay. huge that plus one is a huge deal. Right. You know the fact that I don't know if you noticed. I mean, you rolled like crap. Don't get me wrong. It's not your fault. Oh yeah. But you know these guys when they when they fired, they were firing what seventeen dice for fours, as opposed to oh, sixes. I know. This guy's about to shoot for sixes. You know, the statistically thirteen dice, right? right? Uh, look, he doesn't count. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, minus one. Correct, thirteen. One, two, three sixes. Three dice. One okay. kill. Oof. Sooner or later, Omira's going to be the only guy in that field. Yeah. Red flag. That's too red. Tiffin. It is red advantage. So red, you can go. British play. They're two and they're three. So their one is available is the one that's in question. And again, it's... Can these guys fire? They can not They can control Volley without him. That's actually an interesting thing and a fact. They can present and fire in a controlled manner. They're that good because they're regular troops. That's all I'm going to do. That will leave them unloaded. I know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten. Ten dice for fives and sixes. One hit. Wow. You're in the open, so you might as well, I mean, you can give it to anybody you want. Oh, it would have been the middle where he's detached. Yeah, just can't hit him, but plinks the guy from the rear. Falls oh, off. that's right. Boom. All right, Mike, you, that was it. There was only one hit. So, oh, uh, I thought I had to roll for no, uh, no, no, chance though. He's got to roll below it because it was line troops, not lights. I uh, gotcha. So, do you, uh, Mike? Do you have an active? Hit? Do you? Did you? Nope. Everybody, Oof, your everybody activated. Went. Everybody did something. Ah. Who won? All right. So, and we determined really the only thing he can do is take a take shock off. There's there's no other advantage to. Well, no, he trying to he can get these. Well, yeah, as far as that goes, right. Right, but remember, he can get these... These guys can be brought back under control. If you want to. And these guys do have volley fire, Mike. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we we'll might as well go ahead and try and bring them under control. Three to six. And he oh. fails again. He can, rally, right. he can rally shock off them. With one act. Actually, he's going to... He's, that's chance. He can actually take two off. Can he? Yep. So you can get this. You can get one completely gone. That one that's there? locked in place. Yeah. Gone now. All right. So now does yeah that's just going to be those guys at long range. Yep. So that's uh, you got seven. Twenty two. Seven. 14. Yeah, 22. 22 for sixes. Three. Three. I know how he's going to break him up, Ron. So. Yep. Two and one. That is a shock. That is a shock. Y'all is in the open. Yeah. 
Hey, Ian, I didn't get 24 because they're not under control. Right. You don't get to add, dude. Okay, next chip. Oh, he forgot about the dead, the two dead guys. Three. All right. Firing. They're just from hell's heart. I spit at the four dice. Five, six. Two, two hits. hits. One and one. Nope. Three. Nope. Two. Okay. And now I'm going to use my free move. Oh, got it. Sure thing. Now all that. And remember, they lose... Uh, no, that's right. They're, they're leaving from the nearest enemy, so they don't have to pay it, so they get all six. As long as they are taking off from the nearest enemy, which would be certainly those guys. Way they went. They had a bold part in the early going. Yeah. Red flag. Blue flag. Uh oh. Two D six for Amira. What happened to him? Poor git. Is that eleven? Commissariat. The quartermaster arrives. One unit of the player's choice may be resupplied with water or ammunition. <laughs> so those guys can no longer be spitting feathers, if you like. Ooh. I thought that was my guys. Oh, that's that right. That was his yeah, guys. You don't, you don't have anybody that needs that. No. Right. Nope. So you're fine. Just notice that there are now a bunch of flags out there. Blue two. Two. Nobody to shoot at. <clears throat> What's that? Nobody to shoot I at. I think I have a... Yeah, I don't mm -mm. have a Bowling shot alley. there. Bowling alley. Yep. No, no, I know. I didn't think I had range either. So I might as well just rally these guys. Well, first of all, you got to get them. Yeah, you can... That's true. You can yeah. spend your activations to rally them. You'll oh, I'll see if I can get them under control. And which can, I can. So they're good. And then he's a level two. And then so one shot take, back. Yeah. He can take off two. All right, just take that marker away then. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. All righty. Blue flag. That's three blue flags. Four blue flags. Red one. Uh, I want to take a shock off of here. Okay, you got it. He's a three, so he's got two other things he can do. I guess uh, reload. Okay. And present. And present. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like with wild, I know he doesn't add that too. With wildfire, they just keep firing every round with the numbers. Yep. Where and it just so happens that you stand. It is it does happen that you're standing there, and that's also a gigantic unit. No, I know that. You know. I'm just saying though, they get to fire every round, yeah. but you have to reload, present again, reload. Yeah, and the other piece is you've gotten some very unfortunate turns on the on the chips. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, that's that's certainly a part of it. Uh, three, you can take that shock off back there. Got it. Red flag. Red flag. It's three red flags, so you could jump in there too. Now, now, Ron, that's four red flag. Yeah, there you go. So I could take another shock yes. off. You take two shock off, and then, and then fire. Yep. So now it's you were presented, so you're gonna fire, and actually then you're gonna reload. 
Yes. So you're clean. Very good. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 13. 13 for fives and sixes. Yep, 13 for fives and sixes. Three hits. Three hits. One, one, one. So, Mike, you got to roll left to right pretty much? Yep. Yeah, left to right. There's a shock on the left. A miss on the center. And a miss on the right. Okay. Let me double check that. I think actually that is shock because you're in the open. That shock. Oh. That shock. That shock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was your flags. And now you get to go red too. Reloading. Presenting. These guys are nasty when they present. Especially since I'm almost certain. Tiffin. What's their aggressive? Is that a bonus towards like. That's me like. Hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's fisty cuffs. Yep. Me like. Yes, I thought. Was every card in the bag. That's the first one. He had them all out. Yeah. Red flag. Blue flag. Uh oh. I believe you did. Uh, well, those guys. The last guys to fire were these guys. Two d six. Ten. Low on ammunition. Now they're stuck. They have to fire only at close range. Wait a minute. Which? Oh, this was a firing random event. Yep, yep. gotcha. Now they're stuck. These guys? Yep. Blue three, take off a shock, Mike. Got it. Tiffin. Tiffin. You're up, Mike. All right. The uh, Continental line will shoot. Reload and shoot. All right. That leaves them where they are. Uh, 22. Right. Minus. Yeah, there's, there's 22 figures. Minus one. 21. 21 for six. Three. Three. Two and one. Oh. What, uh, that stinks. It does, yeah, it's a kill, but it's not a leader. So one and the other guy. Shock. Now that's getting really hairy. Yep. Oh, Arthur. All right. And you do get an action. You get to do one thing, Ron. These guys, for example, can present and fire, but without Arthur. Similarly, right. these guys can fire and then be and reload, but without Winchester. No, I'll do that. Yeah, I think that's the move, honestly. Because that's, what, 15? Yeah. And the pity is, again, you don't have cards, so you can't hit them with a crashing volley. I know. So 15 for 6, for 5, for 4. 
16 for four. Oh, did you say 16? Dang it. Nope, 15. You're right. You're right. Because, yeah, you're short one. So how many? Eight hits. Ooh. All right, so, Mike, it's, uh, what is that? Two, two, two. So it's got to be two of these got to be threes. And it's up to you, Ron, actually. Three and three. All right, Mike, you want to start rolling for him from where? All right. From left to right. All right. So, two I think shocks. that's two shocks. Go ahead, in the middle. Center is a kill and a shock. Ooh, okay, that's a kill, so it can't hit the leader. Oh, no, it can. Oh, light stone? Yeah, no, Lights, that can. Right? That's a hit, yep. So, Mike had to roll the 1d6 to see if that might be, that might be chance. It is not. Nope. So move over here. And now, uh, yeah, that's another two. One shock. Starting to get, uh, we're heading into pricey territory now. And Mike, you get one more. Not action. reloading. Yep. Uh, no, you are reloaded. You fired and right. reloaded as your action. So it's your present you didn't do. So, uh, Mike, you got one more flag? Yep. Um, so I can't do anything with these guys again, right? Because I already did something once. Yep. Okay. So we'll take the second here, and I just want to wheel them. At 1d6 or 2? Uh, to wheel, it is, a, it is a 1d6. It's a 2d6, and you drop the lower one to wheel forward. Oh, sorry. A four and a six. Six, six. six to wheel forward. Six inches wheeling forward. And I have to, and I have to right. I was going to say you have to wheel forward. You can't wheel backwards. You can, but then you drop the higher number. All right, I'll I'll wheel backwards. I'm I'm good with dropping the higher number. So you're wheeling back four inches. Yep. You want to measure off the four inches for me? Other side. Which way? Other you side. Go? So you're going to go this way. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Yep. I Thank it. you. <laughs> That's it. Red flag. Blue flag. Red three. What's Amira want to do? I want to take off that shock. Go ahead. Done. All right. And I can still move, on, like do the free move, right? Yes, they always get their free move. I got my free shock off, Jim. Okay. No, but he didn't activate them, Ron. So they can't. They could do uh, oh, it. right, because of the shock. Yeah, they could oh, do no, it on what? a flag at the end of the turn, but no, they can't do it right now. Oh, okay. Because they didn't activate. He did. Right. Blue flag. Tiffin. Tiffin. Blue. All right. I, can I take off any of my shock? Nope. Leader is not activated. I can't. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so we'll just uh, shoot. How many you got Eight, left? 14, 21, if I'm adding that up right. 20, so it's 8, 14, 15, yep, 21. Yep, 21. 21 minus 3, 18 dice for sixes. Three. Two and one. Shock. Shock. Okay, those guys are even. Yeah, I see that. You're a play around. Can the lights do present fire too or no? 
The lights? Yeah, sure. They can present and fire. Them. I mean, without the leader. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're, like I said, those guys are skilled enough that they can do that without their leader. They just don't get his bonus. Yeah, it's 15. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15. Yep, 15, 4, 4, 5, 6. Man, 5. So it's 2, 2, 1 for you, Ron. So you got to tell them where 2, 2, and 1 are. 2, 2, 1. All right, Mike, where do you want to roll it? I'm sorry. Two, what is two, it? One. All right, so I'll start here from my left. Mm -hmm. That's a two, right? Yep. Yep. Two, two, one. Yep. Two uh, shock. Killing it. Uh, uh, yeah, two shock. Let me just check something real quick. Make sure I'm not delusional. Oh, sorry, I just rolled. That's all right. One the center got a kill. Yeah, it's always it's always sixes kill. That's what I thought. So it's two shock. Would you roll in the center? Uh, kill. Kill. Just the kill. Okay. Yep. He's got to roll. Yep. You got to roll. One d six. Yep. Two. He's fine. Ooh. Playing with fire, and one die. And then my right one is a one. No, no I need that one for the kit leader. <laughs> I know, right? That was the one you wanted. All right, Mike. You've got uh, one more blue flag. Uh. Those boys went, so all you've got, all you've got is this. Well, these... What's that? Well, okay, so they can move, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. 2d6. They can't D6. take off their shock. Nope. All right. They're just going to stay as is right now. They're not going to do anything. All right. Red flag. Blue flag. Red one. Take off shock. Mm -hmm. uh, ammo thing is killing me. Yep. Of course, close range. Twelve inches. I'll take it off another. I'll take it off another shock here. Mm -hmm. What's close range, Jim? Twelve inches. Twelve. And moving. I just. Okie dokie. That was two actions. Or that was nice off, Did you take off two shocks? Yes. Okay, two shock and you move the six. Got it. Red flag. Blue three. He's, he's down, down to one shock, by the way. Yeah, well, he's done. I mean, he's done over there. It's just. No, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, there's not a lot yeah. you can do. Oh, that's true. He's no longer in route. He is he is no longer routed. So he could theoretically move. If you could uh, merge him up into one of these. Well, no, there's you can't merge him into anybody because there's nobody like him. But you could see if you get right. Wee Willie up there, but you run the risk of getting them shot at, and then suddenly you're having a unit be wiped out. Three right. red flags, I observe. Blue flag. Blue Damn. one. All right, so he's going to take two shock off. Mm -hmm. 
and actually, yeah, yeah, we'll leave it that way. Right. And then we will fire. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 minus... Three seventeen. I'm assuming he's still at long range. He is by a, oof, yeah. barely, but he is. For six. Three. Again, three. Two and one. Shot. Even. Red three. Oh, Mira. Gonna move. Okay. Got to about wrap this up too. It's after eleven thirty here. What? Yeah. What time? Holy cow! Sorry, lads, didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. And I want to fire. All right. We'll uh, go through the bag one more time then. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah, that's allowed. So that's one, two, three, four, four for uh, fives and sixes. One hit. One hit. Right there. Uh, it's going to be, those are not light, so it's going to be a uh, light cover. See, I was used to hard cover, and I was used to in the open. Now i got to get to light cover. So that's four, five shocks, six kills. That's a shock. Got it. Got it? Think. Got it. Nope. Nope. Did not. There I you do. Go. All right, so they moved up, and then so that was their free one, and then they re fired and reloaded. Got it. Two. Oh, that's what he's been looking for. The question is, do you reload mm -hmm. and present? Yes. That could make an immense difference, I think. Blue two. Back there. Uh... Yep. You will wheel again. All right. 2d6. Two. Mm -hmm. So you're going forward or backwards? Forward. All right. That's fine. It's probably about all there yeah. there is, isn't there? That's all there is. There ain't no more. Blue flag. Note that there are three blue flags out. Four blue flags. That is four. through the hole. That is four red flags. I think Tiffin's the only thing left in the bag. The sand run. Yeah. Activating. I figured. Eight. Fifteen. 16, 17, 4, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if I'm counting correctly. And yes. 3, 3, 2, yeah? Yep. After right as we look at him. All, All right. right, Mike, 3, 3, 2. Yep. From my left. Whichever right there. So. You're right. I left your right. Okay. Nothing. The two twos. Center. Uh, a, uh, a shock and a kill. Roll for the uh, kill. To see if that's yep. the guy. Nope. It is not. And three. 
And a shock and a kill. I believe, yep, that's Tiffin. Tiffin. All right, last turn then. Uh, Tiffin comes out, run. Yeah, so every, everybody had a chance to go. This will be it. Red flag. Blue flag. Red one. Take off a shot. Mm -hmm. This is gonna roll one. Uh, move forward one. Here's 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 your problem, and I I didn't done you for it, but I forgot. You got to take eight off any of your moves. Ah, okay. So he's not gonna be able to move. I mean, unless you, um, he's got to roll two. I mean, you're probably better at this point just rolling the shock off, getting that shock off there. Yeah. Getting two more off. You know, eventually. Okay. And that's it. Well, that was quick. Flag each. You're tied. Roll one d six. One. Ron, you get one activation. So they were unloaded. So they, I should say, they fired and reloaded. So they are Correct. now loaded. Do you wish them to present and fire? And they're oh, yeah. I, I would have thought. So uh, 17, I, I think it's the same thing. 17 for 456. Well, his, he doesn't count, though. Oh, right. On the flag, you're right. 15 for 456. the worst ones yet oh maybe mm -hmm. not no 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 you had worse than this <laughs> that was seven 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 so two two so two, two three two, in the uh, middle two yeah. on each end yep yep yeah so left to right sure my left to right two no. ones center at a hit Man. and a shock check for the leader no. Missed. So I'll take a guy off. And two kills two on the kills. right. Kills. Ooh. Owie. And you get one, Mike. Yep. We'll just shoot. Reload and shoot. With these fellas here. All right. Yep. Golly gosh. Uh, four, seven, eleven. There, there's not as many of them anymore. Uh -huh. No. 16 nope. minus 3. 13. 13 for 6. Two. Two. One and one. One each. Shock. Shock. Nothing. And nothing. That was actually the one I was more curious about. But you did a good job rolling it off. All right, that's it. Well, we got to call it a night because, gosh, it's late. Let me get a quick save in here just in case we ever want to come on back. I'm curious. Ron, what do you – I know you've never played before. What do you think of Sharp Practice? I like it. I like it. I think it's real. I like the way the formations go. I like how the shooting goes. It's almost – yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. And Mike the... – I like the turn is different too. Every turn, nothing's going to be the same. Right. Mike, you still, uh, I know you were fond of it the last time we played, which is a while ago. Are you still good with it? Yep. Yeah, I, I, yes. I, I, I gotta be honest. I love the system. I, I'm gonna borrow Vance's line. This is squad leader for Napoleonics. And, um, that's a, that is a high compliment from him. He, Vance actually likes this game. Um, even though he's certainly no black powder guy. So uh, we're going to get a bigger one going. I realize that's probably insane, but I have to build it up so I can understand big sharp practice if we ever have any hope of doing cow pens, which based on how long this took, I have a fancy hunch is going to take more than one session. Um, the, thing I oh, really, yeah. the thing I love about sharp practice is it feels right as the two units pound away at each other 
And as they gradually lose their strength, as they gradually fall apart, it's not, it isn't the sudden blazing battle you get in some games. And I particularly like, if you saw what was happening over here with Winchester's guys, and this is sort of Ron's question, you know, what's the advantage of these guys that are blazing away with lead as opposed to these guys? Well, you saw who was doing more damage. It's these guys. Yeah. You know, those guys were putting well, actually, in... actually, these guys did incredible damage over here. Yeah, they did, and they did. And they, uh, they, especially since when they went after the skirmishers, it definitely came out their way. We should note, I suppose, that you were tied with your force morale. The really interesting thing, neither of you had gotten to that point where you start shoving each other's units back, where the formations start to fall apart, because that's mm. where the uh, morale checks really come in and where you start to see the formations fall apart. So the fight was definitely up here around the best house um, here in the hollow. And uh, cool. A couple of quick notes before we depart. Number one, I'm running a bunch of games at San Diego Historical Convention Online. If you're in our group and you want to play and I don't have enough people in the game, I'm going to have you come over. We're going to be playing Commands and Colors Napoleonics. We're going to be playing Lion Rampant, games we all like. So please, you know, make yourselves available. One is on Saturday afternoon and the other is in Sunday afternoon. We, of course, are not neglecting Saturday Night Fights, which is Leipzig Part 5. <laughs> Hopefully OJ can oh, make God. it, over, but we're not sure. Yeah, we are that big of a I think, I, Yeah, I think I, I, I think I will be able to make it. Awesome. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No worries. Thank. Great for it. Um, the. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, Omira was indisputably the MVP. <laughs> um, oh yeah. He punched out a lot of tickets, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I was impressed. You know. These guys under Taylor Chance's command that came lumbering up around the best house and just started unleashing hell on the seventh regiment of foot and these guys from the sixteenth foot. That was that was quite something too. I enjoyed that too. Um, finally, and this is a little strange, but uh, I guess I'll put it out there. I didn't even know this, but I've been nominated for Grognard of the Year because of this podcast. I I didn't ask to be nominated, but it's something I like being nominated for. And a lot of you guys have said wonderful, nice things about me at the channel. It's over at No Enemies Here, which is a podcast, or a broadcast, I should say, that you should all check out. And he's just taking votes in the comments. So, um, you know, he's just getting folks who want to speak up for different people who are promoting the hobby. So it's very gratifying. I just, there are other great people being nominated that I have great respect for and that I enjoy. So whatever your inclinations are, just go over there first, check out that, check out the show. And if you're inclined to vote, that'd be great too. In the meanwhile, it's late. Oh, I like this game so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you guys for playing. In the meanwhile, please, as ever, take care of yourselves and one another. We'll see you soon. That would make